What's up UTA? Welcome to the Shorthorn After Dark and here are your top stories for April 6, 2010. UTA's international flavor will be on display all this week. The festivities kicked off Monday with the parade of banners. Students carried banners representing various countries from Netterman Hall to the Central Library Mall, across the bridge around the Fine Arts Building and then back to the mall. On Tuesday, the International Students' Organizations held the International Food Fair outside the UC. I actually got a chance to pass by here today after class. Um, I thought it was great. I mean, the fact that you get to just see what everybody has to offer. I mean, some, most of the food you probably never see here. I mean, you do see like the more famous food, but I mean, some of it is like real home cooked food that I mean, you would just not get in a regular restaurant here. So I mean, I think that's great. And some of the countries that you get food from, you probably never see those kind of restaurants here either. So I mean, it's a good way to get just a diverse mix of food. 15 different student organizations like the Indian and Nepalese student associations and the Russian Culture Society sold food to more than a thousand students, faculty, and alumni. The fair's organizers experienced a shortage of meal tickets as more than 20,000 tickets, each for a quarter, were sold. The next International Week event will be the fashion show, Wednesday night from 7 to 9 p.m. in the Blue Bonnet Hall of the UC. The big event is coming April 24th. The event, if you didn't already know, is hosted by UTA volunteers and is an effort to get the campus involved with community service projects around the Metroplex. The day-long event has 600 volunteers ready to put in work on more than 50 projects. The big event's director, Tiffany Kaminsky, speaks to the importance of the occasion. You know, it's a different opportunity for those who aren't familiar with volunteering that want to experience something new. Maybe they don't know something about themselves and they find out through volunteering. It's a matter of helping someone else besides yourself um, and giving back to the community in ways that some people aren't able to do. There are still more than 300 spots open. You can sign up at the UTA Volunteers website on the Big Event page. Returning on-campus residents can fill out renewal applications Tuesday through Friday this week. Renewals can be done online at the Housing Department's website, and applicants can choose any room in any hall. Regular housing applications will be prioritized in the order they are turned in, therefore pushing those who apply after the deadline to the back of the line. Phones are ringing constantly in advising offices all over campus as students prepare for summer and fall enrollment. For undergraduates, priority for enrollment depends on how many completed hours the student has. Students with 90 or more hours may begin enrolling Wednesday, while those with 45 or more begin on April 12th. We're working on these stories and more. Be sure to pick up a copy of the Shorthorn on Racks across campus Wednesday or log on to theshorthorn.com for extras. I'm Chase Webster, and thanks for watching The Shorthorn After Dark.